Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm going to take up a very lovely poem. The name of the poem is A Photograph. And the poem has been composed by Shirley Thompson. Now, this poem talks about nostalgia. The poet's mother remembers an incident of her past and she remembers a sea holiday and then the details of that particular holiday. The poem has three different phases of time. Phase one talks about the poet's mother when she went on a sea holiday and when she was of 12 years. Phase two of the poem takes place some 20 or 30 years later when the poet and her mother, both of them were sitting in their drawing room and the poet's mother was pointing towards a photograph which was placed on the wall. Now she was actually remembering her sea holiday and she was missing it, which is clear from her smile. And the third phase is being talked about. It's after the death of poet's mother. Now the poet's mother, the poet is terribly missing her mother because she is no more. And she also remembers the past incident when her own mother was remembering her past. So before understanding this poem, it is, it is completely necessary for all of you to understand the three different phases of time in which the incidents of the poem take place. So now I'm going to start with the text of the poem and then we'll see what is there in the poem. So let's, let's have a look on the text of the poem. The poem starts with, the cardboard shows me how it was. Look at the word cardboard. Cardboard is the photo frame on which a photograph was pasted. So the cardboard, it shows how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling two girl cousins and whose girl cousins? The poet's mother. I'm, I'm sure I told you about the three different phases of the poem. This is the first phase of the poem when the poet's mother went on a sea holiday uh, when she was of 12 years old. When she was of 12 years. Now she remembers that when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands. Now the poet is saying that two girl cousins were there and the poet's mother was there in the center and two girl cousins were holding one of the hands of the poet's mother. And she, she here refers to the poet's mother, the big girl. That means she was the eldest of the three girls and some 12 years or so. So she was of 12 years. That was her age. And what actually they were doing on the beach? So all the all three stood still. So they were standing still to smile through their hair. So it shows that a photograph was being clicked or was about to be clicked of the three girls. So they were smiling through their hair. So it was a seashore, it was a beach area and there might have been the blowing of waves because of which the hair were almost covering their faces. So they were just smiling through their hairs to get a photograph. The three girls, they were smiling through their hair at the uncle with the camera. So the poet's mother's uncle was there with the camera to click their photographs. Click their photograph. Now a sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born. Of course, the poet was not born at that time because her mother herself was of 12 years. And then she said that my, her mother had a sweet face. That means she was a pretty looking girl at the age of 12. And the very important lines are the sea which appears to have changed less. Now, this particular word, see, the poet wants to say that 
she has, she has appeared to have changed less that means she is eternal by nature she is everlasting she is, she is almost immortal kind of because there's not much change in the sea because it has been there for the thousands of years so there's a comparison between mortality of the humans and immortality of the sea so the poet wants to say that sea is eternal but what it has done it has washed there there means the poet's mother and her two bird vessels so they are terribly transient food look at the word transient transient word refers to something which is not permanent uh, which is mortal by nature so and this is a natural phenomenon if you are walking on a beach and then your footprints are there then with the with coming of the other way the next way those footprints are washed away now the same thing is here now this sea has washed their terribly transient feet terribly transient is two words this is the case of alliteration where two sounds are being repeated in two conjugated words so terribly transient feet that means the mortal feet of the poet's mother and her two girl cousins they were washed by the sea which is eternal by nature now we are talking about the second stanza as i told you that there are three phases in the poem the second stanza talks about the second phase which takes place 20 or 30 years after the first phase of of the poem now the poet says that some 20 or 30 years later she would laugh at this snapshot snapshot is the photograph she here is poet's mother now after 20 or 30 years later the poet and her mother they were sitting in the drawing room and the poet's mother was looking at the photograph put up on the wall and then she would laugh looking at the snapshot and said see betty and Dolly. betty and Dolly, these two were the names of uh, these two were the girl cousins uh, who went on the sea holiday with, with the poet's mother and she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach. That means she laughed looking at the photograph, commenting or saying that, look at the way we have been dressed for the beach. That means they might have been dressed up for the beach in a funny way. And that's what she was remembering. And she was missing her sea holiday terribly because uh, she was just remembering those good old days of her, her childhood when she went for such a wonderful sea holiday with her two cousins. Now, the sea holiday was her past. It's a very important line. The sea holiday was her past. Whose past? The poet's mother's past. So the sea holiday was the past of poet's mother and she was remembering those sea, that sea holiday and although she was laughing, but it's clear that she was missing that sea holiday. And the poet says that mine is her laughter. So the laughter of the mother is the past of the poet because her mother is no more. Of course, these two sentences, the sea holiday was her past, it relates to the second phase. And this line is composed, mine is her laughter, it refers to the third phase. And as I told you, in the third page, the poet's mother is no more. So she is just remembering her mother and her laughter, which, which she gave 12 years ago. Now, both rye. Look at the word rye. Rye means twisted, but here it means disappointed. Both of them were disappointed at the respective time. Poet's mother was disappointed when she was looking at the photograph. Poet was disappointed remembering her mother look, smiling at the photograph. So both of them were twisted. Both of them were disappointed. The poet's mother was disappointed and poet was disappointed because her mother was no more. So both right with the labored ease of loss. So both of them, the poet and her mother, 
they had their own losses at a respective period of time and both of them were trying their best, trying their best or trying very hard, that is labor. So both of them were trying very hard to ease their loss, ease means to simplify, to come out of their losses, to come out of the pain. So both of them were disappointed and both of them were trying at their best to come out of their losses. The poet's mother was successful because she laughed, but for the poet, it was really, really very difficult to come out of such a severe loss of the life of a mother. Now, we are in the third stanza, and this stanza takes place after the death of a mother. The poet says that, now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. That girl, again, the poet's mother, and when she was of 12 years. That means the poet's mother survived for 12 more years after the second phase. And the poet says that, and of this circumstance. Now look at the phrase, this circumstance. Which circumstance? Circumstance created after the death of her mother. So she says that of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. She has nothing to say about the circumstance which has been created after the death of her mother. Because its silence silences. It means the death of the poet's mother. Now she says that the death of her mother has silenced everything in her life and she doesn't have anything to say about this circumstance. So that's all about the poem of photograph by Shirley Thompson. So guys, I hope this video uh, I might have liked this video about a uh, photograph, the poem in 11th standard. This is the first poem in, in Hornbill, uh, the first book, and this is poem number one. So uh, if, if you want me to upload uh, a special video on any particular lesson, please go to the comment box and then uh, put your comment or put your request then I'll, I'll, I, will, I will be uploading that particular video first. So hope you like my channel and if you like this video please do uh, like and share and, and if possible please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed till now. So thanks guys, thank you very much for watching and please wait for my next videos. Thank you.